So here's this new stereo I got. If you notice, right there, Mox port. I haven't tested it yet, but the guy said that you plug something into it and it interrupts the stereo. It doesn't interrupt the cassette, which I find interesting. Um, so I'm just going to keep playing around with this for a bit. I'm going to leave all this unbuttoned. It's a mess in here. I got, there's the original speakers. If anybody's interested in those, there's my old stereo. Had a time getting that out. I should talk about that. Because there are no videos on these speakers anywhere on YouTube. None. So I'll talk for a second about these old deck Delco OEM stereos. You know, a lot of people think they're junk. I definitely thought they were when I was young, too. Um, I had an Alpine stereo in my Jeep. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things you do. Uh, but with this car, I want to try to keep things as original as possible. It really frustrated me that I couldn't find any information that really gave me the nuts and bolts on removing this thing. Um, Crutchfield's instruction set just said, take off the trim piece, remove the bolts holding the, the stereo in, and pull it out. That's simple, right? Wrong. So, in this one, which is a 1988, there was this little piece right here on the back side. And I think over the years that piece got stuck into that hole that helps support the stereo and it just didn't want to come out. I mean, I pried, I took screwdrivers up to the sides and tried to yank it little by little and it just wouldn't come until it finally just did. Uh, so that was good that it finally did, but it was frustrating. Anyway, I'd like to see more of these. And God bless the man who uh, refurbs these and sells them online. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really wanted to have a factory stereo in this car. And you made it possible. So thank you. Well, I decided to go ahead and button this back up and get it all back together. I had to take a few little adapter pieces off. Little things that help fit stereos into places. Um, mine didn't have that. But everything is working as it should. And I'm happy with everything. So uh, if this is one of those things you're thinking of doing, I highly recommend it. I mean, yeah, you can't beat an aftermarket stereo, but you can't really beat an original stereo, too, especially when you're dealing with a 30-year-old car. That's the home station of Bob and Tom right there.